Hello. Okay, so continuing from, well, not from previous video, but from today. Um, so I managed to get this part to work with thumbnails and a picture change. I looked up the old code from an exercise on MDN web docs and I just modified it slightly to suit my needs so but I think it has worked out pretty well now my next challenge is uh, this part right here so I need to change this uh, test input so that when I press on image one, image two, this part changes to model one to indicate the model one glasses. And same for these two, but in this case, it'll be model two, model two. That's the tricky part. It seems like a simple thing to do, but it's, yeah, I just can't put the, I can't put that together. Um, I try to do it in, a, in an efficient way without repeating the code, but I think I'll, I'll have to because I'm out of ideas. Anyway. With that said, I am feeling a bit better, which is good. And this weekend I plan to go to the cafe, grab a drink, sit down, relax and do some work and take my charger with me. So I plan to do that in the morning while it's uh, not as busy so I can get my favorite spot. And I'll see if that's going to work or not. Okay, so uh, where was I? Okay, so I am targeting my thumb image one. I am adding an event listener. And then I need to target the HTML, right? Yes, but how do I do that? Okay. So first I need to find the query selector for the image and for the main paragraph, which I already have. Okay. Thumb main paragraph and then dot inner HTML equals model one. Okay, it looks like it worked. So I'm going to make a small change in the Okay. Okay, I think I got it now. So from this point onward, it's just essentially copy paste and uh, Yeah, I think it's just essentially copy paste. I'm not too fond of this um, 
because you know it's not the right way to do it. But like I said, I am out of ideas. So cannot be helped. and four and these will have model two and model two let's see if it works yes okay perfect but now I'm gonna style this thing Really? Okay. Okay, so that works fine. How about Fondash rate 600? How is that not gonna look nice? Actually, I'll keep the font weight as it was. To stick with the theme, to stick with those. Okay. Uh, my next thing is. Radius twenty. Okay, and for the main image as well. Okay. Products, about us, contact, home. Okay. Uh, what is the next step? The next step is to put the default text back in the description of the classes, which is quite easy to do as I have only commented it out. So that's nice and easy to do. But that's the description for one. There's more. Yes, there is. Okay. I think that's everything. Our products. I feel like there is something missing behind the scenes, like it's too plain. Hmm, 
Maybe that's just me though. That's okay, I'm just going to leave it at that. Okay, our products. That. Model 1, Model 2, which is nice. Okay. Okay, about us. Oh, and the contact form as well. That's going that's going to be a big one because we plan to have a like a contact form. Uh, like a you know, a dummy contact form that you can uh, send. <clears throat> of course, it's not going to send anything because this is a just a demo. But you get the idea. About us contact. So when it comes, okay. Or my product section. So when it comes to about us again, I'm not gonna spend too much time on it because, uh, you know, about us container, about us, and I'm just planning things out right now how I want it how I want it to appear going to have um, yeah I, I'm still like uh, I'm like placing the blocks in my head right now I can see kind of how I want it to be but I need to also put it in a way that it makes sense in the HTML format. Uh, what kind of display I want to use? Flex, grid, or block, or inline, or inline block, and so on. But I think I also want a heading. about us and then a curve have like a middle paragraph in as well Okay, so underneath the H2, I'm going to have a div. That is going to wrap things up for me. So I have 
a div and then inside that div I have a p element which is section one and then Inside that, do I want another section one? Uh, section two. So I want three sections here. Like so. Okay, let's take a look how that's gonna work. So they're on top of each other, which is fine. Um, so class equals about us dash div. Okay, and then about as power oh no no copy the entire class I just okay so Our as container, we have that about as div. Div that wraps the p tags, and then dot about as dash bar. I think it was. About as dash Paris the P tags of about us. Okay. So if I scroll down we can see that they're on top of each other. And that's not what I want because if I start putting text in them, they're just gonna go down and but that won't be good. So I need to make sure they are displayed properly. So I'm gonna use display flex. And that should put them in a line for me. There you go, like so. Which is good. <clears throat> now uh display flex wrap flex wrap wrap should the content go out yes so again font dash size let's go with 18 px uh, and font family as well same thing Again, I do a lot of terrible practices right now with copying and pasting so much stuff. Uh, but that's okay for now. I'll fix it right at the end when I have everything working as I want it to. This product landing page is it's huge to make. I've had no idea it would be like this margin dash right it's 5px here no 2px margin dash left 2px here did they move i don't think they moved 
Let's do 10. I want to see what's going to happen. Nothing, they're not moving because they're in the divs. But if I place them here, they should move. Yeah, okay, good. So I'm gonna put a border around them. Border uh, solid to PX. Let's go with black so I can see on this background. So this is the, so section one, two, and three are the P elements, right? Um, I, I want a whole bunch of text taken of the entire about us before I move on to the contact form. So that shouldn't take too long. I got my dummy text here. Alarm Ipsum generator, it's called. <clears throat> so section one, we will change that to this. Section two, the same. Section three as well. So there's a wall of text. So right now there's nothing. And now we have a whole bunch of text. But something has happened. They're on top of each other now. That's not what I want. Try something. I want to see what will happen if I use auto. Okay, no, that's that's not good. That's not what I want. Uh, flex. Is it because there is flex wrap on it? Yes. Oh, I see. I see. Gotcha. So the reason they were on top of each other is because I had this thing called flex wrap, which wraps the content. In this case, in this case, it was putting it on top of one another. Actually, since I am at it, let me play around with it. I want to see what happens. What other values do we have? Wrap reverse. Oh, I see. Okay, okay. So we can. Ah, that's interesting. How about no wrap? Gotcha. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna change the font size. That's kind of not how I imagine this. Hold on. I need more text. How's that gonna look? Maybe less text. Why? Okay. 
I can push down contact more. Of course I can. Just sit in there. Where's the entire div of the section about us? Height, give it a, I don't know, 500 px. Okay, that's better, but now this div height. I'm gonna make it what 400 px. left that's right So I, I need a little bit more text in the right thing for demo purposes. A different text, so... Oh, this is good. Oh wait, no, come back. Uh. What? No, go back. I was supposed to put it here. Okay, so of course more height is needed, I think. Where am I? So the container itself. I'm gonna give it a thousand pixels. Okay. 700 for the div. It's very interesting. To quickly double check something. Okay. Uh Margin dash left. Dash right. Five. Yeah, it 
this is better. Modulus left, but it's too far from. There, okay, that's good. So I'm using padding to push the content inside. Whoa. Well, maybe that's too much. This is not what I wish for. Let me start again. Yes, I do have display flex there. It's interesting, they're not the same size. Now they are. Okay, there we go. the margin 5 peaks and 
let's put away the border, see how it looks without the border. <coughs> Yeah, maybe a little bit more, about six. Not quite, maybe seven. No, not happy, maybe eight. Did I reach the limit? Let's go 12. Let's try padding. Is there any difference? So it seems like they can only be pushed a certain amount. Margin dash left. There we go. But I'll change that to two. Yeah, that, that's better. That's what I wanted. That about us should be lower. Where is this about us? equals about us dash heading <clears throat> about us dash heading is uh, adding dash top MPX. All right, I'll give it to MPX. I don't know if it moved. Margin dash top twenty PX. I don't think it's Moving, okay. Um, margin dash top. Let's try that way. Oh no, nothing. Let's Inspect. Okay, I need to look at you. This guy right here. Okay. About us container. 
H2. What is this margin? And then the div, which is nothing, zero. Got only the margin. So I should be able to I should be able to push this thing as about a stash heading. Margin dash top. Very interesting. Okay, padding worked. Not change margin to zero. which push the content up here, but I can push it down with padding dash bottom 50px, 40px maybe, there. Is it not pushing it down?
I moved it up a bit actually. Don't work it because I haven't linked them. Okay. About us. Okay. Alright, in contact. I'm gonna leave it up for tomorrow because I'm very tired right now. And my mind is just not working right now. So I'm going to save my work and uh, let me just take a look, yeah, <clears throat> so I think I am fairly happy with that. Uh, tomorrow I'll resume the contact part, I'll start, I'll have to plan it out and then I'll also need to link up the tags here quick links and that's all for today I'll see you next time thank you for watching and good night